What was your plan, anyway? Just the one of you? I was expecting a squad or a platoon. But it doesn't matter. You're gonna stay right here. At least until you get a good look at what's coming. During our crisis, we have made special arrangements for the children. They are in Cuba, at Colonia Unidad La Palma, learning about the revolution from our trusted neighbors. Out of the mouth of babes hast thou ordained strength, that thou mightest still the enemy and the avenger. We must always remember them for that strength, and think of their faces when there comes we... a time when we must make decisions without those children, lest we stray from the certainty of our path. In the end, this has to be bigger than us. The military are saying they cannot keep us safe from the force massing against us. My people, there's nowhere else for us to go. This is all there is. We must be ready for the end.
my people. While the rest of the world burns in a desert of selfishness and deceit, we have built this oasis. People can leave the wilderness and join us, but so many would rather stay in that desert. These people are lost to us. so inspired by our children. What they draw in chalk at the playground shows me they are learning from our example. They will carry our mission forward when we cannot. service will run as long as we need. We will see you all there at nine in the morning, and we will preach until the Spirit takes hold in all of you. Sarah and I were talking about her schedule, and well, as you know, it is her job as communications director to handle all the mail going out of Freedom Town. So whenever possible, ask yourself, do I really need to write this long letter to my family? We know keeping families back in the U.S. feeling okay about our project is important, but maybe a simple postcard would suffice. Postcards are available in the shed near the dining area.
huge resourcefulness and hard work in the last three months, hatchery egg production has doubled. But remember, we are keeping most of the current yield for trading at the capital. We need the funds for our continual outreach and expansion. I've had followers who question how I can be so accepting of our gay brothers and sisters. Are we not to accept how God made us and made others? Why would he make them if not for us to accept them as they are? If they stand in love with us, not accepting them is the far greater sin. Listen to this quote from Eugene B. Debs. Wherever capitalism appears in pursuit of its mission of exploitation, there will socialism, fertilized by misery, watered by tears, and vitalized by agitation, be also found, unfurling its class struggle banner and proclaiming its mission of emancipation. From John chapter 3. But if anyone has the world's goods and sees his brother in need, yet closes his heart against him, how does God's love abide in him? Little children, let us not love in word or talk, but in deed. experimenting with new uses for our always abundant cassava crop. The cassava chips and cornbread continue to be favorites, but have you tried the cassava pudding?
the U.S., they want to smear us. They want to come here and claim we are a failure, that we broke laws, and on and on with their lies. They want trumped up trials, prison, and for those they deem most dangerous, executions. Is that what you want for yourself? For your family? For all of us? Capitalism lives off inequity, pushing you to look down on others. And what better shorthand for feeling superior than based on your own so-called race? Angela Davis has it right. You cannot separate racism from capitalism. You know, when I met Rebecca, I loved her because of how strong she was. In a society like theirs, for a woman to be that tough, I knew she was the strongest person I'd ever met. So, now, sometimes we argue. And we are better for it. For every rich college student talking about putting his body upon the gears and upon the wheels and upon the levers, how many did anything after protesting the small injustices of their bourgeois education? How many of those people made it to Freedom Town? Now, I know some of you did, and I'm proud that when you say the machine will be prevented from working, you mean it. When writing to your relatives, remember we want them to understand how good things are for us, how important our work is. And Sarah, our communications director, is always available to help you make them understand. Why do they fear us? I will tell you why. Because they see us living together in peace, sharing what we have. They see hmm. us as a threat to their own lives of idolatry. A threat to their Mercedes, and their swimming pools, and their illegal wars around the world that bankroll all of it. A threat to their segregated communities, their segregated marriages, their segregated churches. They are quite content in their lives of hate, and how dare we suggest there may be a better way. Security. Highest alert. Highest alert! We just wanted peace, but still they murder us. This is horrible, horrible. One of
one of our people is dead. This is what we always told you was coming. Know their names? We have hundreds of people here, and I know all their names. I know the names of the ones you killed, I know the names of their families, and everyone deserves to know that you will never kill anyone again. 